everyone, welcome back to Mind Leaves. My name is Minika. In this video, I will do a follow up on last week's video where I talked about how you can check in with yourself financially and see how are you doing and where on the spectrum do you lie or are you moving in the right direction. So if you haven't seen it, make sure to check it out now or even after this video. In this video, I'll talk about some aspects that might make you feel that you are doing okay, but these aspects doesn't necessarily directly translate to financial security or financial stability in the long run. So with no further ado, let's dive into it. So most of the common things that make you feel like you are financially okay are the following. First, a good professional degree or qualification, a secure job, salary or even a big salary, retirement plans in place, the ability to take on a nice house mortgage, the ability to finance a fancy car or just the ability to finance any car and the ability to take out loans. Okay, these are just some of the points. So if you have any of the above, those are great and really amazing tools and you are really in a fortunate position to use all these to create tremendous financial security and stability for yourself. Or you have the opportunity to suffer from big salary syndrome, what I call it. So let me explain. Firstly, the above mentioned indicates that you make a decent salary every month. So you get amount of money every month into your bank account. So let me explain to you why these are not necessarily directly translating to financial stability or financial security. If you have a big amount of money coming in every month and a big amount or the most of that money goes out every month into liabilities, life expenses, or things that just loses its value in an instant or decreases in value, you are not really working on a positive net worth. In other words, if you're throwing it onto liabilities and not really assets, all right? Assets give money back to you or give money back to you eventually or make your money grow. All right, so if that money comes in and the majority of it goes out every month, it doesn't even matter that you have a big salary because you're not using it to create that security for yourself. In other words, you're not creating a positive net worth and if you just buy more liabilities or things that loses their value in an instant, you build on a negative net worth. And um, check out my previous video if you wanna dive more into the net worth topic. The next thing is anything outside your circle of control can happen. What I mean by this is, if you have a secure job that gives you money every month, you have a circle of control. Outside the circle of control can be bad management in your company or a bad economic climate or your company can be bought over, what's it called, acquisition. There can be a merge or you can be retrenched or a world pandemic can happen and nobody can foresee it and it's not fault at your side necessarily, you've been a good employee. Or something personal can happen as well outside of your circle of control, sickness or illness or an accident or an emergency that you could not foresee coming. And I just quickly want you to think about the following scenario. If something happens and you do not get your salary or any income next month from your job, like the whole salary or your spouse. Okay, think about that. How would your life look? What would happen? What if it happens two months in a row? It's really not a fun topic to think about. But how did you feel when I said that? If you got a bit nervous on the inside or uncomfortable, that's not really a good sign. But if you actually felt like, okay, I would actually be okay, no, I would be fine. That's a good sign because you took control of the money that did come your way to create that for yourself. That's the amazing thing of humans. We can actually take control of the things that we do have and that is given to us. And the third thing is, if you have a really nice lifestyle because of the amount of money that you get each month, your secure job, your nice salary, your ability to make payments, that doesn't necessarily mean if you can make the payments that you can afford it, right? You probably have to work really, really hard to keep up this lifestyle, hustling, hustling, Monday to Friday to be able to make the payments. And if you actually come into a spot in your life where you feel like, this is too much for me. I want to reduce my hours. Or you actually uh, admit to yourself, I don't really like what I'm doing. I want to change. And you have this lifestyle 
And this lifestyle is directly correlated with the amount of money that you get each month. And if you don't get that money each month, this lifestyle cannot happen anymore. You rob yourself from the freedom to make choices to change. For example, to get a cut on salary to change a position that you actually like or to reduce your hours because you cannot uphold this lifestyle anymore. This is not really, really financial security. I know it's not really a fun thing to think about, but it is a mature decision to make. And I'm really a firm believer to not only live for the weekends because you feel like you deserve it. Like there's more to life than Monday to Friday, nine to five. I think you should have more freedom as well. I think we each deserve it. I don't think we should not have jobs or not do anything. Just freedom to take a rest or to uh, make time for things that are important to you or that you really enjoy or feel you as a human being. I want to finish off by saying if you have listened to the above things and you think that you might suffer from big salary syndrome, one amazing thing about us humans is that we can simply choose to change. We can simply choose to start taking what we get every month and what is provided to us to put it in the right places and can create a financial stability for you to actually benefit you as a person and not just instantly, instantly, but more in the long term. All right, I talk about choices that you can make now to improve your future, so make sure to check out this video as well. And I hope it made you guys think. If you have all these things that I've mentioned in the beginning of the video, you are in a perfect position to create peace of mind for you financially and you have the choice to do it or not. All right, everyone, that's it for me. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.